Okay, I just got home from seeing Joker 2. A lot of thoughts in my head. If you don't want to hear anything about the movie, I highly suggest you do not watch this video. Uh, first things first, there is so much smoking in Joker 2 that it just like made me want a cigarette. Just got to put that out there. <laughs> um, this movie is very much a musical. So if you loved the first Joker and you don't like musicals, just go in knowing that it is very, very much musical. I happen to love musicals. I like them. Uh, however, I like musicals because musicals use song to propel the story forward. And there were times in Joker 2 where I felt like, uh, let's just say I could have done without maybe three songs in the movie. Um, but I was just thinking to myself, like, man, this is irrefutably original. Like, good on Todd Phillips for taking these two characters that we know so well and sort of using them loosely. Like, it's not like your typical Joker, your typical Harley Quinn. And the fact that we got to, we get to experience them in this vaudevillian, Broadway, tap dancing musical format, I think is beautiful. I love watching things that I just haven't seen before. So I really, really appreciated that. Um, what I also loved was, of course, Joaquin Phoenix's performance. I actually got to interview him for the first movie. And I remember him telling me that he watched a lot of videos of Roy Bolger, who is a vaudevillian Broadway singer, actor, known for playing Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. And I could see how he dipped even more into that physicality uh, for Joker 2. And, of course... Um, his body transformation is insane. And honestly, I'm just in awe of Joaquin Phoenix's sort of uh, commitment to this character because Joker is an intense character to dip into. And the fact that he was able or, you know, even willing to do this twice, I think is saying a lot. Lady Gaga was phenomenal as Harley Quinn. I don't even know if I can call her that. You'll find out um, what they call her in the movie when you see it because I'm trying to share thoughts without spoiling anything. Um, but I remember after Joker premiered at a film festival, Festival, a lot of critics uh, criticized the film for underutilizing Lady Gaga, and I actually didn't feel that way at all. I felt like she was in a lot of the movie, got a lot of screen time, definitely got her singing chops in there. And honestly, I think a lot of people are going to want to see her have her own spinoff Harley Quinn film because she really just nailed this character. And it's kind of a shame that Todd Phillips, the director, um, said that he's done with DC these are the only two movies he's making for DC and he doesn't plan on making any more because um, I'd love to see him direct a Harley Quinn film. Um, another thing that I wanted to share is this this movie takes place in about like one or two different places. So that sort of forward momentum and action that we were used to from the first Joker. Um, I feel like I didn't necessarily feel in this film. I really, really like this film. It was a musical. It's beautiful. It's striking. You have to watch it in IMAX. It was filmed for IMAX. I'm obsessed with the color palettes of Joker. We all know that it feels just so sort of uh, Scorsese inspired with the muted gold and the muted burgundy, you know, burnt red and the and the purples and greens and the red, white and black of Harley Quinn. Like I love those colors. And I just thought this movie was striking. There were a bunch of scenes. Um, there's one in particular, I don't want to say what it was, that um, I would love to like blow up and put up in my house. But I often feel that way about movies that take place in Gotham because I'm so obsessed with Batman. And the best part about Gotham that I felt probably the most out of any Batman-adjacent project is the groundedness of the city. In other words... While watching this movie, I feel like I'm watching a movie that's taking place in the world that we live in. And so that I really enjoyed. Like the way that Joker and Harley Quinn meet is so good. Their chemistry is really great. Um, and yeah, I, I even though it's, I just love the love between them. It's just so psychotic and beautifully chaotic. <laughs> uh, I have so much more to say about this movie. Another thought I had was the fact that it's a musical. I was like, oh, this is going to be really interesting going into award season because we all know that typically um, at award shows, superhero genre films aren't typically recognized. Um, of course, there's been a couple, you know, that have, you know, of course, Joaquin Phoenix won, you know, an Oscar for playing Joker. But because it's a musical, it's going to put this film in different categories for certain award shows like the Golden Globes, for example. 
Um, in a similar way where the the show The Bear sort of sweeps comedy categories, even though we all kind of know it's a drama, uh, I would love to see Lady Gaga and even Joaquin again take home an award for the roles that they play in this film. Um, uh, so much to say. I feel like you guys are gonna have so many thoughts on the ending. I feel like this movie is gonna be divisive, but I can easily say that because the first one really was. And I guess the last thought I had is I feel like because it was a musical, a lot of the messages that um, I feel like the movie was trying to say kind of got lost a little bit, um, as opposed to the first film where I feel like it was really sort of crystal clear and nailed down, especially when it comes to like mental health. But um, but Joker gets even more humanized in this, which uh, is kind of nice for the character. And yeah, I'm not gonna keep rambling. I would love to know what you guys think about the movie. Um, I'm sorry I'm so tired and this is just like a crazy stream of consciousness and I'm sure I'll have different and more thoughts tomorrow. Um, but I liked Joker too, um, especially the beginning of the movie. And I can't wait to hear um, what you guys think about it. I will say the first one I was like so obsessed with. Um, but let me know what you think. <laughs>